Sports and Health. Unit 31. The Marathon. Did you watch the Boston Marathon? Yes, I went to Boston to see it. You were in Boston for the marathon? That's right. My friend is a runner, so I went there to watch her run. We traveled to Boston together. You are so lucky. Which part of the marathon did you see? I watched the entire race, from start to finish. I don't know how the runners can finish the whole race. It's so long and difficult. I could never do something like that. I tried to run a marathon once. It was really difficult. I just can't run like my friend can. Yes, running a marathon is not an easy thing to do. By the way, how did your friend do in the race? She did quite well. She was not the fastest runner, but she was in the top 50. Unit 32 Racquetball. Racquetball is a popular sport. It was first played in the U.S. This game started just a little more than 50 years ago. That makes it quite a new sport. Other racket sports like tennis and squash have been played for a long time. Racquetball rules are a mix of rules from both handball and squash. A short racket is used to play this game. This game became popular almost at once when it first came out. More and more people wanted to play it. Clubs began to build racquetball courts. They built these courts for players of this new sport. People of all ages can play this game. But most players today are young people. Most of them are between the ages of 12 and 34. Racquetball is now a famous sport. It is played all over the world. Unit 33 Summer Sports Hi, Alice. What have you been doing? You look tired. I stayed up late last night to watch the Olympics. We won a gold medal for men's basketball. We also won the silver medal for women's tennis. That's great. What about gymnastics? The men's team didn't do so well, but the women's team won the silver medal. I haven't had much time to watch, but I saw the opening ceremony. What have you been doing this summer? I've been playing baseball and taking swimming lessons. I like to watch baseball. Maybe I can come and watch your team play sometime. When do you usually play? We have a game this weekend. Why don't you come and watch us play in the park? Sure. Just let me know what time the game starts. See you later. Bye. Unit 34. Inline skating. Oh, my legs are so sore. Really? What did you do during the weekend? I went inline skating with my friends at the park. Did you have fun? Yes, I did. But it was also my first time, so it was really difficult. I was scared that I would fall down. After a short time, my muscles were really tired. Next time will be easier. You just need more practice. What about you? What did you do during the weekend? Actually, I also went inline skating. I go every weekend with my father. We usually skate about 20 kilometers each time. Wow! How can you skate so far? Your muscles must be really strong. I've been skating for three years now. You could skate that far, too. You just need to build up your muscles. Let's go skating together next weekend. Okay. Unit 35. The Olympics. The Olympic Games are a famous world sports event. These games are held once in four years. There are summer games and winter games. People
People come from countries all over the world to compete in the games. These games started a long time ago in Greece. In those days, only men took part in them. There were only a few sports events. Now, women take part in the Olympic Games too. There are team sports like basketball. There are martial arts like judo. More and more types of sports are in the games each time they are held. It is very hard to win a medal at these games. Only world champions take part in the Olympics. Those who compete must work hard for years. Their bodies must be very fit. They must be the best to win medals in these games. Travel and transport. Unit 36. A bicycle trip. I'm planning to go on a bicycle trip around Europe. Why do you want to go on a bicycle trip? It is an environmentally friendly way to travel. What do you have to do in order to go on a bicycle trip? Before the trip, I'll need to ride my bicycle a lot. That will make me fit and strong. I also need to get some equipment. What kind of equipment will you need? I need road maps of the countries I am going to visit. I also need strong bags to carry clothes and food. I need to carry all these things on my bicycle. Are you traveling with another person? Yes, I am going with a friend of mine. He likes bicycle trips. I wish I could go on a bicycle trip too. Well, don't get too many flat tires. Unit 37 Driving Down South. Isn't it great that there aren't any classes on Monday? We have a three day weekend. That's right. Do you have any special plans? My family is taking a trip to Las Cruces. I'm really looking forward to it. Have you ever been there? No, but I've heard about it. Is it nice? Yes, there are so many things to see. The city is famous for its nuts. What kind of nuts? Pecans. There are many pecan trees growing in and around the city. I like pecans. How far away is Las Cruces from here? It only takes about four hours by car if you use the freeway and drive directly south. That certainly makes for an easy trip. When are you leaving? We're going on Saturday morning. We'll be back on Monday evening. Have a nice time. Bring me some pecans. Unit 38 The travel agent. I want to go on a trip to China. How long do you want to stay? Four or five days. We have a very good package tour that is for four days and three nights. Okay. What can you tell me about it? Well, you'll fly directly to Beijing. Your tour guide will meet you at the airport and take you to your hotel. Over the four days, You will do a lot of sightseeing. You will see many famous landmarks like the Summer Palace, the Forbidden City, and the Great Wall of China. That sounds great. What sort of transport will we use to get from one place to another? You will take a bus with your tour group. Okay. Can I book this package tour now? There will be five of us going on this trip. Sure. Unit 39. Taking the train. You're so lucky, Marion. You're leaving for Hawaii in five hours. I never travel because I hate flying in airplanes. I don't like buses either. That doesn't matter, Dean. There are other ways to get around. You should take the train somewhere. That's true. It's been a long time since I last traveled. I've always wanted to take a long train trip. What's stopping you? Go to the travel agent now and ask about train trips. What do you think the fares are like? 
I'm not sure what train fares are like now. I think it depends on your destination. That's a question you'll have to ask a travel agent. Can you suggest a good person to talk to? My travel agent is always very helpful. Here is his phone number. Thanks. I'll call him right now. Where's the phone? Unit 40. Go on a cruise. Are you sick of long road trips in a car? Do you find long trips in an airplane boring? Do you want to travel in a special way? You should take a cruise to all the places you would like to see. Go by cruise ship to the northeast part of the U.S. Go late in the year. Then you can enjoy the colors of the autumn leaves on the trees. It is a beautiful sight. Do you like to look at man made wonders? Go on a cruise to the Panama Canal. Do you want to see icebergs? Do you want to look at seals and whales? Go on a cruise to Alaska. Wherever you may choose to go, a cruise is a great way to travel. Book a trip on a cruise ship today. You will love it.